Hello everyone and welcome to another Stormworks video. In this video we're going to pick up, picking up where we left off last time uh, with the speedboat tutorial. If you missed that episode I will point it up to the right of the video right now uh, so you can go ahead and watch that. Um, but pretty much in this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fixing the speed of the speedboat. Um, in the last episode I was saying that we should be going much faster with the amount of power that we have. Uh, along with that we'll be adding a couple sensors, uh, three in total. First is going to be the distance sensor in the front to detect objects. Uh, the next will be a depth sensor, so we know how how uh, close the seafloor is to the vehicle or to the boat itself. We'll also be adding a water sensor or a fluid sensor inside the hull, just in case that we have any leaks. Uh, we'll have a detection system for that. Uh, along with that, we're going to improve the air tech system in the front of it. I think uh, we'll add a couple of lights onto the deck itself. And then lastly, we'll just do a stabilization system to make sure that the boat uh, sits right in the water when we're going at a high speed. Uh, and that's pretty much about it. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Let's go over to the workbench here. Uh, now, first off, what I'm going to do is fix the propeller speed. Uh, while I was in between this video and the last one, I figured out that if we go ahead and actually change the gearbox speed, uh, instead of having a one to one, if we go ahead and move it all the way to the right to one to three, we should obtain a better speed. So go ahead, we've changed that now. Uh, we'll go ahead and just spawn that in and see if it's changed the speed at all of the boat. Um, let's, go. let's go ahead and jump in the seat, uh, turn on our coolant pumps, um, start the engine by holding down W, and then we'll just engage our clutch, and now you can see that we are getting a much better speed than we were on the last video. Uh, that's great, uh, and while I was saying that we need to add a stabilization system, is that you can see the boat is jumping out of the water a bit, uh, so we will go ahead and add that. Let's just go ahead and despawn that. Uh, fantastic. Okay, perfect. So that takes care of the propeller speed that we were talking about. Uh, we'll go ahead now and we'll just add our different sensors. So first off, I said I wanted to add a distance sensor to detect any objects. So we'll go ahead and stop adding the components. Uh, I'm going to start over here. Just going to delete these blocks here um, and then just go inside, close it all up a bit so we don't have any leaks. And you can see here we have a little space. Now before I paint the block down for the distance center, I'm just going to go ahead and paint this quickly. I do have, by the way, have the um, X-Plane off currently and we're just going to go ahead and look for our distance sensor. There we go. Go ahead add that in just over there. So that means anything within 250 meters of the boat, it's going to send an on signal, uh, which is great. So what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and add, I'm thinking is going to go ahead and we're going to add, or we're going to delete that first. Then we'll go ahead and we'll add some blocks in here. So we'll have our little blocks, which we're going to use indicator lights. Uh, now the first indicator lights will we think, I think we'll need is going to be for the distance. The next will be for the water warning system. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead, add a number digital block there, and we'll actually change that to the speed. And then we'll have that one to our depth um, sensor. So we know how, de how high we are. Um, so first off, we said we were going to do a collision warning. So in, uh, in front of the boat, we'll go ahead and type in, let's see, what, what's the name that we want for this? Let's go ahead and say warning collision. Fantastic. Uh, next off, we'll we're going to move this across. So we can just go ahead and copy and paste that to over there, no decimals. Here, we'll cha be changing that one to our depth sensor in meters. Fantastic. And then lastly, we said that we we're going to do um, a sensor to detect if there was any water in the hull. So we'll do hull water warning. Fantastic. Perfect. So we got that in. Next thing we need to do is add our sensor at the bottom of the boat. Um, I'm going to do it just here in the front for our sensor for our depth. So go ahead, change the color, and then we'll look for our 
sensor for that, which is going to be our altimeter. Actually, no, I lie. It's going to be our distance sensor. It was... So then we'll know how far we are. Fantastic. And then last sensor we're going to add in is just going to be a simple fluid meter inside the hull. Just so we know that if any water gets inside here, we'll have a signal for that. Now, all we need to go ahead and do is start wiring this all up. So first off, what we're going to do is just going to change what we already had, which was our speed sensor. We're going to move that across to our new speed sensor and then delete it from that. So then that takes care of that. We now have our speed going to our new block that we have. Next off, we need to wire up is going to be our distance sensor in the front. Now, in order to take that and convert it into our warning collision light, you can see that takes a red input, um, and that obviously is a green, which is a numerical input. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use a threshold gate. Now, if I can find it, there we go. A threshold gate, pretty simple. We're going to place it down in the middle. Once you click on it, you can see it has a low threshold and a high threshold. So we want anything between zero and let's say 50 meters, it's going to detect. And once you go ahead and connect it up, inputs, and then once it receives anything within that distance, it's then going to output a number, and we're going to output that number to or sorry, our signal off to our indicator light. So that will then come off if there's anything in front of the boat. We'll go ahead and test that just now. Uh, let's go ahead and carry on just linking all this up and doing the logic. Uh, next off, we said is our distance uh, for the depth. Now that's going to be quite simple. It's just going to be directly into our depth sensor. And that's just going to tell us how far away we are from the ground or the seabed itself. And then lastly, for our sensor suite, uh, we're going to do is connect our fluid meter. Now our fluid meter sends a signal of either well, a value number, sorry, between zero and one. Once again, what we're going to do is use another threshold gate, place that down. If we have anything between 0 0.1, because you don't want it zero, if you put it at zero, it's going to detect it when there's nothing in there. And then we're going to do one. So that means that if anything, if there's any fluid inside a hull, anything over 0 0.1 and one, or between one, it's going to go ahead and give us a signal. So we can just go ahead, connect that up, and then connect that straight up to our hull warning light. Fantastic. So that takes care of our sensor suite now for the boat itself. We'll go ahead and just test those and just make sure they're working. Obviously, I won't be able to test the one with the water uh, or the fluid because there is no fluid inside the engine bay at the moment. Um, go ahead and test the other two. So first off, we said that we moved that across, uh, which is perfect. Looks like it's working. Let's go ahead, give it a little gas. Give it a gear. Uh, you can see we have our speed is working perfectly, our depth is working, so you can see that's changing now as we get deeper, it's getting to a higher mark. And then I said we need to also check to see if our collision system is working. So we'll go to head towards this and we'll see if this comes on. And as you can see it hasn't, and I know exactly why that hasn't worked, is because we haven't gone ahead and given it any electricity. As I said in a lot of other videos, we need to always make sure that we connect the electricity, always double check uh, that we've done that. So we'll go ahead, quickly link up that electricity. As you can see here, I haven't given any of these electricity. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And then we'll quickly just jump in and see if that works. We'll turn the pumps on, start the engine up. Turn the clutch off and then see if we get lights coming on. So there's a light to come on now. There we go. Fantastic. So the light's working. That's great. We'll go ahead, take it back to the dock and then we'll continue editing. So next off that I said we want to do is um, we're going to go ahead and uh, improve the air intake a little bit. Uh, we're also going to add some lights and we're going to do a stabilizing stabilization system. Uh, first off, what I'm going to do is just going to go ahead and just make this look a little better. Um, I don't like how it's looking currently at the moment. What I'll also do is we're going to go ahead and delete these two side blocks. And the particular reason behind that is that I'm going to be using paint blocks just to make it look a little bit more neater. So go ahead, 
scroll down to our paintable blocks as you can see here the paintable blocks do have the little border around them as long as you have the direction arrows on we'll place that down we'll go ahead and just paint it quickly i'm going to go ahead and just do a plain fill use that color oh sorry replace color and it's going to go ahead and replace all the blocks on it to that dark color and then what we're going to go ahead and do select our white disable the arrows and we're going to go ahead remember to always take that off put it onto brush and we're just going to go ahead and paint it's agony like this and we're going to go ahead and do it all across here we can always go ahead and just fix this mistake up at the end and we'll do the same on this side Quickly go ahead and get this all painted. And I'm just holding down my left mouse button and it's, got, it's painting like that. Perfect. So go ahead now and we'll just go ahead and replace the windows that we have taken off. Um, we use the little corner angles. I'm going to here just go ahead and put our symmetry back on so it's a little bit easier to place the place it down again and now you can see that looks much neater much nicer uh, in comparison to those white lines that we had now next off is the stabilization system um, as you can see as I said earlier sorry is that the boat is lifting um, out the water because it has too much power so you want to go ahead and fix that um, by doing that I recommend is just going ahead and deleting or making room for another fin rudder now, don't forget to put your direction arrows on again. The fin rotor itself, we're going to go ahead and move it across here and place it down. That's going to give a nice downforce or upforce, depending on what signal we give it. And that's hopefully going to keep the boat quite nice and stable. If we give it a minus signal, it's going to go down. If we give it a plus signal, it's going to go up. Great. So we've got that connected. Now we need some way to control that. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just have a simple block just over here that I'm going to use and I'm going to use a keypad for that so we control it so a small little keypad get it angled up right fantastic and that keypad is just going to go ahead let's go to our data and it's going to go ahead and control those two fins at the back as always we need to go ahead and just make sure that we have all the electric hooked up now go ahead and hold that you can see that we haven't added that small keypad and we haven't added the rudders you'll see here that uh, the paint blocks they do have an electrical signal that's because you can actually give them a signal and that will activate the backlight and the only way to actually get that to show any light is that you have to go in and instead of using uh, the paint tool you go ahead and use the additive uh, you go ahead and choose the color you want and then you can see now it will actually light up and then if you give it an on single those signals will come through which is quite nice i'm just going to go ahead and remove what i just did perfect so we have that all hooked up now let's just double check yes fantastic power's on it great now we'll go ahead quickly spawn this in and then see what difference it makes when we're going at full speed if we give it different signals so we'll go ahead turn the pumps on Start the engine, give it a clutch. You see we're going jumping out the water a bit. So we'll go ahead and give it a value of 0.5. Now you can see that it's gone ahead and lifted them up a little bit. So they will be getting a consistent downforce on the rear of the boat. If we were to go ahead and give it negative 0.5 see that now it's trying to push the boat down and that's what we don't want in the front so we'll just change it back to 0.5 and you can see now it's trying to lift itself up too much so we can always go ahead back in there and adjust it to what we want which is great depending on the weather conditions oh I have one of my engines uh, on fire here temperature seems to be quite high. Let's go ahead and decrease the throttle. That's interesting. And one of the engines is going black now. 
could be an issue with one of the pumps. Um, we'll have to actually diagnose that a bit and see what happens there. Um, well, let's just go back and we'll go ahead and have a look and see if we haven't maybe disconnected something or we haven't connected up something right. Uh, just make sure everything's working with that. It shouldn't be on fire. We have the cooling system all worked out quite nicely. Um, and our temperature gauge is quite well. It's 104, which is no alarm. Um, the engines will usually blow up at around 170, 180. Um, so we'll go ahead, go back, and just make sure that we have everything connected um, and see if there's any issues there. The pumps are on. We're both getting an on signal. Seems like everything is all right. Um, We'll just watch that and see what happens and see if there's any issues with that. Uh, otherwise, we might have to modify our cooling system, but there shouldn't be any issue with the cooling system at all. Okay, great. Uh, so next thing, you can see that we fixed the stabilizations, uh, which is great. Uh, got, I said we're going to add a couple of lights to the deck. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn our X-plane on again. Uh, and it's going to be quite simple. I'm just going to go ahead and add a light there, a light there. And then we'll go ahead and add couple of lights at the rear and then some there. Now I'm going to use a combination of indicator lights and also normal lights. Indicator lights I like um, if we're not lighting up a big area so like that's really nice it just gives a small little indication of where you want a light source so that's quite cool. We'll go ahead and place this down quickly and then actually on the main deck itself we're going to go ahead and use normal light blocks which is just over here if i can angle it right there we go and then place that one down there now you can go ahead and change the color of the light if you like uh, so if you go ahead and use the red button you can see here once we give it power that will actually go red if we go ahead and use white it's going to go back to white um, same goes with the small little indicator lights if we change them, you'll see here they change now. We're just going to head and leave them white for now. Uh, one little cool feature I was just thinking of now is that we're going to add two little lights underneath here. Uh, well, actually, I think ones will be fine. Uh, one just to light the underglow of the deck, which I think will be quite cool. Uh, we'll see how that turns out in a couple of minutes. Um, so we'll go ahead, place that block down. And this to forget to change the color here. If it will let me paint it. It won't because I'm in additive mode. So I'll switch back to brush and it works. Great. So we'll go ahead and light this all up. Uh, we need switches for this. And we're just going to add a simple switch just over here. Don't forget to disable the x plane, otherwise it's going to delete that. Let's go ahead and add a simple button just over here. Don't forget to change color. And we're just going to use a simple toggle button for that. So simple toggle button just over there. Go ahead and we'll just change that block. Make it all look a little neater. Fantastic. And then we're going to go ahead and name that to lights. Great. Go ahead, jump into data, and then we're going to connect it to all our light switches and indicator blocks that we've put down, as well as our lights underneath the boat. Great. Do be aware that this system probably will draw quite a bit of energy. Uh, so you want to use it uh, quite sparingly, I'll probably say. Um, you can go ahead and add a generator to the engine. I have covered that in a couple of other videos uh, if you want to do that. And that will obviously then take a couple of the horsepower of the engine and then use it to charge up the batteries. We'll go ahead and just connect all the electricity now. Make sure that we've got everything done for our lights. Go ahead and make sure you haven't forgotten any of these. Fantastic. And we'll go ahead and we'll just quickly test that and see how it looks. Turn our lights on. Seems like we're not getting any... Um, signal here. Interesting. Let's go ahead and just change the 
time of day and see if we can't get no nope, doesn't look like that's working at all so we'll go ahead and we'll just jump back to deck and see what we've done wrong here now we've connected all the lights up and you can see here we have forgotten to connect our actual toggle switch hence the reason why the lights weren't turning on so we'll go ahead spawn that back again and see if we can get the lights on and as I was saying in the last video, you know, this is the whole part of building a boat, just going ahead and, you know, doing troubleshooting and figuring out your mistakes and learning from them, um, which is a great way. We'll go ahead and turn our lights on. As you can see, our lights are on. We're going to go ahead and turn that down, and then we'll go to photo mode quickly, and we'll see how that looks. You can see that looks pretty cool. Um, I like that little light underneath. It's quite interesting. We might go ahead and change that color underneath it. Um, but besides that, I actually quite like that and how it's looking. Uh, perfect. So we'll go ahead, just change. That's, as I said, I want to go ahead and just paint the light underneath here. And I want that to be, let's do blue. Why not? Do use a nice light blue. Now there's a bug at the moment, I think, where it doesn't show that you've painted it. Um, so just be wary of that you can always just go ahead and spawn it in and test it uh and then last thing i just would like to add actually um one thing i thought would be quite cool is that if we go ahead and add little bays to the engine doors uh so we can actually op open these up and we can have a look at our engine uh, i thought it'd be quite a cool, cool little feature so pretty much what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete that and i'm going to use the custom doors uh to build my own size you could in theory just place down a a door if you want uh, and use that. I'm not going to. I prefer to make my own ones. Uh, they're custom sealable so they won't let any water through. Uh, so we'll go ahead and use the corners. As you can see on these blocks they do have these little arrow things. Um, that just shows you pretty much how you're lining it all up. As you can see here we're going to push that down there. Great and we're going to go ahead and grab one of the robotic hinges there's a special one there's a robotic door hinge and that's what we need for this uh, so we're going to head ahead and place that down now you can see here that i've the way i've done it i actually can't do this because if i place that door now it's going to be a little bit too far in to how i want it actually um so what i'm going to do and i don't want to extend the bites at all um so what I'm going to do is we need to have the sealable. Uh, the reason behind that is that if, as soon as you open this and if you would just use a normal hatch, uh, for example, just use a robotic pivot, for example, that won't be sealable then. And it's not going to use this area and it's just going to sink the boat instantly unless we were to go ahead and build blocks around the engine, uh, which I'm not going to go ahead and do in this video. So what I was thinking now is we'll go ahead delete those and we'll see if we can actually use one of the larger doors uh, I'm going to go ahead and use one of the large dock doors and see if we can get that done and see how it looks let's go ahead place it over the engine where we want fantastic we'll go ahead and just close up the rest of the engine bay so it's all sealed up that seems like it's all fine nice and working and then lastly what we'll do is we want to add just two little I'm going to use keys uh, key buttons to open them now go ahead and select our key button there we go place it down there rename each one to say engine bay fantastic next one engine bay great and then we'll go ahead link up the electricity to both these blocks do that connection on there open door call open close door open close door fantastic we'll go ahead and we'll test that in a couple of minutes uh and then lastly i said i wanted just to improve the airflow in the front a bit um we'll see how we can do that now um i'm thinking not by actually doing anything relevant to the engine but more of aesthetically um so i'm just going to go ahead and delete these blocks here and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and add a, more, a couple more of these. What I'm going to do actually is just turn them at an angle. Uh, 
Now, obviously, these ones that I'm placing down, I haven't connected any pipes to. They're not going to work as intakes. They're just there for aesthetic reasons only. Uh, those three, however, that are connected on either side are going to work. Um, so that works perfectly great. Well, that's pretty much about it. Uh, we'll go ahead and spawn and make sure that everything is working. As you can see, we have the little doors at the back now. If I can get on the boat. Come on. There we are. And perfect. So if we go ahead and turn this, you should see it's opened. The only thing that has happened is that it's opened inwards, which I didn't really want, but it's not too bad. Uh, you can obviously here we can see our engine now, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, nice little feature, it's just aesthetics only, and we'll go ahead and close that. It doesn't seem to be doing anything uh, to the physics, doesn't seem to be damaging anything, which is great. So we'll go ahead and have that like that. That's all sealed and closed. Great. Everything works. Let's go ahead and make sure that everything is still working. Go ahead, turn the engine on. Just go to touch. Go ahead and change that to zero point. Let's do four this time. See how it's keeping it. Perfect. Well, there you go. Most seems to be handling quite nicely. Uh, we can go ahead and obviously turn our lights on just over here and then we'll go ahead and turn it to night time Let's see how it looks nice nice little blue light underneath the boat there seems to be working quite nicely so go ahead and just change that today and we'll turn that off and kill the engine perfect well Guys, I'm going to end it there. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this video um, and found it somewhat informative and useful as always. Um, I haven't done that much in this video, however, I just wanted to pick up where we left off last time. Uh, I might be doing another video just to see if we can do any more detailing to this boat itself. Um, but I just wanted to add a couple more advanced features to this and pretty much help you guys out. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button um, and then obviously follow me for any future updates. I'm on Twitter, also on Discord. Uh, and yeah, I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye.